Okay, what I'd like to do now is show you how you can use the True Align with your current REN positioning devices. As you see here, we have your standard REN setups with a phosphorus plate, a digital sensor, and a piece of film. You will use the same technique and the same REN instruments with one exception. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the round rings from all of your positioning setups. Everything else stays the same. For whatever receptor you're using, you set it up exactly the same way, you just remove the ring. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the true align ring. And if you'll notice on this ring, we have one short arm and we have one longer arm. The shorter arm is going to be used to take posterior PAs. The longer arm is going to be used to take anterior PAs as well as your bite wing exposures. And to simply set this up, you take your positioning device and simply slide the bar into the alignment ring and you have perfect alignment every single time. Slide it out. If you need to take a anterior PA, what you'll do is you'll simply slide your bar into the longer arm and you will have perfect alignment with that receptor as well. And then for your bite wing, you'll simply slide the bar into the long arm of the alignment ring. But when you slide this bar in, as with any of these bars, you want to make sure that you slide the bar and you're holding this square area. If you try to slide the bar down, uh, the alignment ring down, but you're sliding it from the top, you'll notice that it's biting on the bar so it won't really slide. So you simply slide it back and forth like that and you'll have perfect alignment every single time. That's how you use your existing RIN system with the True Align alignment ring. We recommend that you do not autoclave this alignment ring. Simply use your disinfectant wipes to wipe it off and then dry it with a paper towel. There you have your RIN system.